Hello everyone. Welcome to our lab session. Here we'll uncover two fascinating biological indicators: GSI, the gonadotropic index, and HSI, the hepatotropic index. Now guys, what's GSI and HSI? GSI is the ratio of gonad weight to the total fish body weight expressed as a percentage. It helps to indicate the reproductive status or maturity stages of fish. And what's about HSI? HSI is the ratio of liver weight to the total fish body weight. It provides insight into the nutritional status, energy reserves, and health condition of fish. In this video, we will provide you an overview about how to estimate GSI and HSI. This journey will be started from sample collection, dissection, precise weighing, and final calculation and interpretation. So, let's get into the video. For this study, fish oil collected from Pouro Bajar, a prominent local fish market known for its diverse and fresh aquatic produce. Before we dive into the actual procedure, let's understand what we need to prepare for a smooth and accurate lab session. At first, we need good quality fish sample. In this case, we will use common cut fish plus carpia for our fish samples. Let's take a quick tour of our laboratory setup and the essential equipment we use for fish dissection. We are well equipped with dissection tools such as scissors, scalpel, petri dish, and forceps. To ensure accuracy, we will use a high precision analytic ballast. And of course the safety compass. Every member of this lab team is fully equipped with apron and gloves to ensure both cleanliness and protection throughout the process. Hi, I am Arpa Ghosh. This is Shakya Tunjana. Mozi Sharper. Myself Mijar Rahman. This is Jana Tufitus. Myself Shimon Chakabutti. Myself Farjana Noor. Myself Orkon Mitra. Myself Dima Chaudhuri. Mozak Kera Bintam Aapko Smish. Mohamad Asim Bhose. Toha Mahbub. And finally, this is Tadvir Roman. Before dissecting the fish, we calculated the faster lengths of the fish. The lengths of the mirror curve and scale curve are 37 cm and 38 cm respectively. After setting the weighing balance properly, we weighted both samples. The weight of sample 2 is 1170 grams and for sample 1, the weight is 1090 grams. In order to dissect the fish, we descaled the ventral portion of both samples with a sharp scalpel. Then we made a mid ventral incision from the anus to the upper column to open the body cavity. After that, for liver and gonad collection, from inside the cavity, we carefully remove the gonads and gut contents like livers, taking special care not to rupture or damage them for both samples. Here, gentle handling is crucial to preserve its integrity.
next step is gonad weaning after removal the gonads and livers are gently blotted with tissue paper to remove excess moisture and keep to them in a cleaned petri dish we then recorded the weight of the gonads or ovaries separately for each fish sample Now we already know that GSI is the ratio of gonad weight to the total fish body weight into 100. For the first sample, the gonad weight is 102.7 gram and fish body weight is 1090 gram. So the GSI is 9.42%. Following the same formula, the GSI of sample 2 is 10.64%. A few moments later. Guys, what about the HSI? Let's go to the lab again. To determine the HSI, at first we carefully separated the liver from the gut content. Then we measured and recorded the weight of the liver. The same process has been followed for the other sample as well. We also know that HSI is a ratio of liver weight to the total fish body weight into 100. For sample 1, the liver weight is 6.93 gram and fish body weight is 1090 gram. So the HSI of sample 1 is 0.64% and for sample 2, the HSI is 0.46%. This graph illustrates the relationship between the gonadosomatic index GSI and the hepatosomatic index HSI of our free samples. As the GSI increases from approximately 0.47 in sample 1 to 0.62 in sample 2, the HSI decreases from about 10.6 to 9.4. This negative correlation suggests that as more energy is allocated towards gonadal development for reproduction, liver reserves become relatively depleted. This graph shows the gonad liver weight relationship in our fish samples. As gonad weight increases from about 102 grams in sample 1 to 124 grams in sample 2, liver weight decreases from 6.9 grams to 5.4 grams. This inverse relationship indicates a possible energy trade-off where resources are redirected from liver storage to support gonadal development during reproductive phases. This graph represents the length weight relationship of two fish samples measured earlier. Sample 1 with a length of 37 cm had a total weight of 1090 grams, while sample 2 measuring 38 cm weighted 1170 grams. The plot shows a clear positive linear trend indicating that as the fish length increases, the weight also increases proportionally. Through this lab work, we uncovered how internal organ dynamics mirror a fish's reproductive journey. We learned to correlate biological data with physiological patterns using real specimens. This experience sharpened our analytical skills and deepened our appreciation for aquatic life science.